नमस्ते आदब सस्त्रियकल आय समवती पाल एंड आय एम इन डिजा वेलकम यू टू द न्यू एरा न्यूज लेट्स सी द हेडलाइंस फर्स्ट अ विजिट टू द बायोडायवर्सिटी पार्क वाज मेड बाय द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास 10 ऑन 16th अक्टूबर डांगेन गरबा प्रोग्राम वाज ऑर्गेनाइज्ड फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ न्यू एरा ऑन 16th अक्टूबर अ फील्ड ट्रिप टू मधुबन हनी पार्क वाज मेड बाय क्लास 9 On 17th October, the twin birthday celebrations of Bab and Bahaula were celebrated with great zeal and proceedings. Class 6 and 8 reported back from their camp on 20th of October. Class 11 embarked on a journey to Alibag on 21st October. Class 12 commenced their spiritual camp to Hyderabad. On 21st of October, PTM for the Day Scholar was conducted on the 27th of October. Now let's see the news in detail. A visit to the Biodiversity Park was made by the students of Class 10 on 16th of October, where we discovered an interesting collection of different species of flora and fauna. Navratri was celebrated. Diversity by the students of primary, middle school, secondary, and senior secondary. Let them turn the auditorium into a garden background and enjoy themselves. In the visit to Madhuban Honey Park, the students of class nine learned about rearing of honey bees and the process involved in making of honey. Also, acquired knowledge about the different types of honey. The twin birthday celebration was celebrated fabulously by the students of the entire school came together and so the talents in our beloved amphitheater the program had commenced with melodious prayers after the great learning experience and enjoyment by class 6 at kopoli the students reported back to the school campus now let's hear more from our reporter i am uda hingora a reporter from new era news who is here with students of class 6 who went for jyst camp to khopoli let's inquire about the camp so devit can you share the experience of a journey so the trip was very long and we were in the bus with by the school we had lots of fun in the bus as we sang songs had food and enjoyed a lot so par What book did you study, and what were the models that you learned? So we studied the book Breezes of Confirmation, in short BOC. This book mainly talks about confirmation. Confirmation means God will confirm us to do the right thing. It also talks about efforts and talents. This book talks about a lot of virtues, but we should not only read them and understand, but we should also implement them in our day-to-day life. What were the fun activities that you enjoyed the most? The fun activities which I enjoyed the most were swimming, football, and we had parkour, and we went to Monteria Village. There were many activities in Monteria Village, and in Monteria Village we had a tractor ride, we had dance, we had played games, and etc. Thank you, friends, for sharing your experience. I am Pudha Hingura with camera person Mansha Jain. You are our news Panjgali. The students of class eight, after a knowledgeable and fun camp, reported back to the school on 20th October. Now we have our reporter who gave us more updates. Hello everyone. I am Mansha Jain from the New Era News team. What book did you study in your camp, and what inspiration you took from that book? The book we studied the book Learning Out Excellence. The book talked about a girl named Ling Li. She lived in China. She had not seen her. Gra- she was visiting her grandparents' house. She hadn't seen them in a year since she uh, she had moved away to her city. She had a lot of fun with her cousins. She learned a lot of moral values such as love, courage, unity, etc. She faced a problem with her uncle gambling, but the uncle learned better and he stopped gambling. Her grandmother, Mrs. Chen, also taught her a lot of moral values which she had learned from the great educator. The, uh, we had a lot of fun learning about the book we learned a lot of virtues such as how we should strive our best to attain excellence etc this book was so memorable memorable for us the camp was also so memorable we had a lot of fun doing the activities thank you so shatavari what was the fun activity you did during your camp 
So on the first day, we uh, we went to the Pale factory. We saw how Pale ghee was manufactured, and uh, and we also watched a video about how Pale uh, Pale has many products and how they are manufactured. And then on the second day, we went to a resort named Silent, and there we had a uh, we had a water park, and we we had uh, we enjoyed over there. We had many rides. We full with fun and then we on the same day we went to a beach we clicked pictures and uh, also saw the sunset on the third day we had activities like uh, the hula hoop activity the mud activity and the uh, painting activity so on the uh, and the hula hoop activity where we had to hold each other's hand and make a circle with camera person huda hingora i am ansha jain new era news panjgani A student of class 11 headed forward with a journey to Poland for the spiritual empowerment camp. Now let's have some glimpses from Poland. Hello everyone. I am Adya Agrawal from New Era News. I am here to take the interview of class 11 who recently visited to a spiritual camp to Poland. So Karishma, can you please give a brief about your journey? My journey was amazing it was absolutely fantastic it was my first time visiting Kolar and the place was very beautiful and uh, while going we had a lot of fun in the bus we we uh, danced together and our journey was amazing when we reached there uh, our our uh, moral classes were held uh, as as a group we had a lot of fun and uh, the best part was um, three meals having together with teachers and it it was very good it was amazing so suhani please tell us about the term god's creation god he has created such a beautiful nature leaves flowers humans animals all that is there is in a simplest form we can say that they are in a golden ratio we as a youth our only purpose is to serve the humanity and beautify this nature and protect this nature also we have to educate the junior youth about the three main aspect that is the material spiritual and the intellectual development and also make them understand about the importance and how the beautiful the nature is being created thank you friends i am adya agrawal with the camera person huda ingora new era news panjgani the students of class 12 embarked on a journey to hyderabad by train for an extremely fun and knowledgeable experience where they studied the book health and disease and visited fun places like ramoji film city and golconda fort now let's see some highlights from the spiritual camp good evening viewers i am prasanna sadhan the reporter of new era news I have some of my friends from class 12 here who have recently gone for the camp in hyderabad so let us inquire about the camp from them miss yes? could you share your experience with us as a tutor uh, with the class 12 camp um yes of course it was an absolute joy and pleasure to have this bounty to be a tutor of ruhi 2 with um, class 12 uh, the learning and the interactions that we had made the whole experience of the camp very very memorable uh they've also decided that they are going to share the uh uplifting conversations that they practice at the camp with i think some of the parents who are coming uh for the gathering and as well as that uh they're going to be going for home visits and sharing these profound themes that they learned in the camp uh so that we can uh really make a difference in society and contribute to community building Thank you, Miss. My pleasure. So, Mayan, can you share some insights from Ruhi Book Two? Ruhi Book Two, whose title is "Arising to Serve," talks about how when youth grow up into adults, can serve society throughout the world. This book has topics like deepening themes, uplifting conversations. Uplifting conversations was a section which talks about meaningful conversations that can uplift people's souls. For example, one of the theme was oneness of religion, where as we've seen in the situation between israel and palestine where there's a war going on oneness of religion would have tied them all together there was a conversation about uniting science and religion both are the same wings for one bird yet there's difference between them if man learns to serve and arises to serve the world can become one 
this is what arising to serve ruhi book 2 talks about thank you so much maya so sahil can you brief us about the health and disease book the book health and diseases talks about uh, developing skills and attitude required for service it also talks about uh, health and uh, various aspects re related to health it also talks about how to prevent certain diseases there are three types of diseases which were discussed which were uh, mental physical and spiritual as well it also talks about the uh, various communicational skills which are required in an environment thank you sir vivan can you tell us about the outings you had during your camp yeah sure so the camp in hyderabad we had plenty of outings one of them was a service outing to towards the old age home it was an eye opener condition to see the abandoned people besides old age home we had many fun activities too like shopping exploring the golconda fort and visiting the ramoji film city in ramoji film city we visited the legendary film sets like bahubali sets and many more thank you thank you everyone i report to prasad nazar dhane with camera man rajesh sharma new era news panjgena the practices of kishor mela are in full swing the children are involved in numerous fun activities now we have hasnil from a let's inquire from him Welcome, Hasan, to the Nuera Newsroom. Thank you. Can you share more updates about the Kishor Mela practices? Sure. After having a lot of fun in spiritual camp for class six and eight, a new function in Nuera High School list is approaching: the Kishor Mela. This Kishor Mela is one of the most wondrous function in Nuera High School. This year, the middle school of Nuera School is going to perform. on the date of 3 november 2023 to 24 which is which will be attended by the parents on the day of exit this function is divided into many activities like the gala dance the puppetry show the skit etc thank you thank you asnin an interactive session between the teachers and the parents of the day students was held on 27th october they had a fruitful discussion on the overall progress of the day students that's all for now we will be back with more updates till then stay tuned with nara news be safe be happy thank, thank you, you.